Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. If you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Kim Dent. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I live in Maryland Heights, Missouri. I love teaching stampers and crafters how to make quick, easy, and adorable greeting cards. If you found me on my YouTube channel, Stamping with Kim Dent, please say hello. Um, if you would be so kind to uh, leave a comment and let me know where you're viewing from. And also, if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're watching me either live on Facebook or on the replay, leave a comment or a thumbs up. That helps me out. And um, I appreciate um, all of you tuning in, whether you're live or on the replay or on YouTube. Hello, Sandy. Hello, hello. Hi, Denise. Thank you for tuning in, girls. I can always count on you. All right, let me sync my laptop. I have a really sweet card. I hope you think it's sweet. Um, and a fun fold to share with you tonight using one of my favorite bundles. Bundles. There we go. Ooh. All is well. Hi, Peggy. Hello, Roberta. Yay. <laughs> um, okay, we are all synced up to laptop and it's behaving. So let me get my camera in position. Um, Ooh. I hope this isn't a sign of what's to come tonight. <laughs> All right, let me flip my camera around. All right, if you uh, want to learn more about me or place an order with me, there's my website. You can also find out when I hold in-person classes. Um, I am in Maryland Heights, Missouri. I hold classes every single month. On uh, the second Friday and Saturday of the month, we have some cl classes coming up this coming week on the 12th and the 13th. Um, I have openings on in all three classes. So if you are interested, if you've never been to one of my classes, the first time you attend, you're absolutely free. After that, um, your class fee is $10. We make five cards that include your envelopes. We always have a great time. Um, so if you're interested, leave a comment or you can always um, text or call or email me. This is my host code um, for the next couple of weeks. Um, if you're placing an order that's under $150 and you would like to help me out, please use this code. If your order is $150 or more, do not use that code because I want you to get the Stampin' Rewards. So. Hello, hello everyone. All right, let me show you the card we're gonna make tonight. It is called, I believe it's called a diagonal fun fold, diagonal flap fun fold. And it goes like this. Isn't this cute? I haven't colored um, for a while with my blends. So I had a good time this afternoon coloring the little cattle and the flowers. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this sweet little card. So hold on, let's get the kit. No, first let me show you in the catalog. If you have an annual catalog, you can find all the products that I'm using on page 51. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, Denise. All right, so this is um, the... The main stamp set that I'm using is the Country Flowers, but I also pulled some words and I think one stamped the inside of the card from Country Birdhouse. So this is called the Country Woods Sweet Collection. Um, if you want everything on here, um, it's $152.25. Right now we have bonus days going on. So for every $50 that you spend, you'll get a $5 coupon code that will be emailed to you um, and you can redeem it in the month of August. So this would be a great time if you want to invest in a whole suite um, like the, these two, the stamps, um, Country Birdhouse and Country Flowers as well as the dyes. You would get um, these sweet smoky slate pearls. The, this is my favorite embossing folder, folder the eye, eyelet. And then you get um, the ribbons, the petal pink and the white and then 
two packs of Country Woods DSP as well as the Country Lace DSP. And you would get um, free merchandise on top of that. So you would get, um, if you had ordered all of the 152.25, you would get 15 or so, so some odd dollars and some odd cents, sorry, and um, free merchandise. So that's the way to do it, girls. All right. The um, kit that we're going to use, it's really easy. Oops. I'm going to bring in my trimmer. So I used Misty Moonlight. Hello, Miss Penny. This is Misty Moonlight. And the reason I chose it is because I think it coordinates really pretty with the Country Lace DSP. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score it at four and one fourth. We need a piece of basic white. This is two and a half by two and a half, and that's what I use to stamp my flowers on. So we're gonna die, well, I die cut them already, but it's, it's that piece. You need a piece, this is for the little card, Misty Moonlight, three inches by eight inches. You scored it four inches, and I already did that. Uh, oh, thank you, Lynn. I lost my mic. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, anybody? I my mic came off. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, do I sound okay now? Get great. Oh, thank you so much for posting that. I would have done the whole video. Okay, here's the country lace. Three and three fourths by five. There's a flip side of it. This is basic beige. It's just like a texture and then this one reminds me of denim this is country lace four inches by five and one fourth and there's the flip side I love this one and then you need two pieces of basic white one is for the outside flap and one is for the inside two and three fourths by three and three fourths two of those all right it looks like it's a kind of a complicated card but girls if I can do it you can do it so let me get the trimmer back in here gotta go up a little higher all right so the fir oop, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that misty moonlight this is your regular card base and we're gonna score it at four and one fourth. So there's my four mark right here. And I'm gonna go up to the one fourth. Move, I gotta move that dark blade out of the way. And I'm gonna score. And then I like to crease it first. So I'm gonna bring in my bone folder. Give it a good strong crease. And then all we have to do, hello, hello Patty. Then all we have to do is we're gonna cut from this score tip right here all the way down to this corner. So I'm gonna line it up. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then I also have to crank it around. So this tip, the very tip is in, it's like in that, um, what do we call this girl? The canal kind of where the blade goes. This is the hardest part, and it's really not hard at all. Okay, get that lined up. And you, this is the other thing. Um, thanks, the groove. Thank you, Penny. I'm having a hard time with words. Um, so there you go. That's your card base. Um, and... That's it right there. Now the next thing, the other diagonal cut that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece of the three and three fourths by five and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in, same thing from tip to tip, or from the top to the bottom in the groove. <laughs> oh, and I started to say, hi Jill. I started to say, you, for me, you you want to push your blade so it's going from top to bottom. Like when you, I don't know, for some reason, if I go this direction up, it has a tendency to crinkle it and mess up the paper. So I always pull down. 
All right, so I've got those two pieces. I'm going to save this piece for a scrap and lines up perfectly like that. Do you see how easy it is? Okay, so that is all the cutting that I need to do. So I'm going to put my trimmer out of the way. And I'm going to show you something. Oh, I'm all crookedy. Oh my goodness. Uh, sorry, girl. <laughs> it's going to make me crazy. There. Oop. <laughs> Okay, I want to show you something that I just got. I treated myself to. This is not a um, Stampin' Up! product. This is from my, oops, my Sweet Petunia. And I know some of you girls already have one. I was thrilled to get one. So this is called the Precision Glue Press. Um, this it has... <laughs> I guess hit the airwaves and people are just going crazy over it. It's made from the um, same company, My Sweet Petunia, who um, created the original Misty. So My Sweet Petunia, this this glue that is in here, this is I think it's called Nouveau glue, but they send uh, along with your kit, they give you an empty glue bottle. So I could take our glue, our green tip glue, if I wanted, and fill it in my empty one. But for right now, I'm just gonna. Um, use this one. This was $35 um, and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So there's that fine tip and then when it rests in the holder there's um, a little, do you see this pink thing right here? The tip rests in there so I don't even have to seal up the glue bottle if I don't want to and then but if I need to like if I'm going on vacation I can, oh, and there's a, there's the needle thing in here that fits right into the tip of the glue. If I want to, I can seal it up, but for tonight, we're just going to, oh, it sits right here, that cute little holder. So this is something, if you have one, let me know what you think about it. If you don't have one and you have questions about it, I can tell you more about where I got my from, but $35, give or take, I've seen it, um, Oh, I've seen it a couple places, $36. It's all about $34.95 usually. And um, I think, I'm trying to think, it's it shipped out of Iowa. Like I purchased it and I think it was here like in three days. So that was fun too. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to take my, um, my precision glue press. Uh, you want one? I think after you see me use it, you will want one. It just is so, oh, and then the thing so I have arthritis. This is what you're hearing a lot of girls um, say, like this, uh, the arthritis, if you're making like Christmas cards or a lot of birthday cards or just a lot of intricate dyes, um, it takes a lot to keep like squeezing this if you make a lot of Christmas cards. So this, I'm just like barely applying any pressure. Let me bring my camera down. Whoop. Sorry about the jiggly. Okay. So what's nice, like with my Stampin' Seal, which I'll still use, I can't get like into those teeny tiny little corners. Um, but this is lovely. So just uh, decided to treat myself. I've been watching them on different demonstrators and just decided to treat myself so it's a fun new little toy I'm just like all of you I I love getting new stuff <laughs> so there we go that's it <laughs> that's the the fancy precision glue press but you can see I'll like especially when I use intricate dyes that's what made me do it because I did a class and we did a real lacy dye and my hand just was hurting, I think, from gripping and trying to get all the little bitty pieces with the tumble glue. And I thought, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm biting the bullet and I'm doing it. So now I am going to take, like with this piece, I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal. This is the four by five and a quarter. And the part that makes, I don't know, putting cards together so easy is that stamping up, like just 
has everything that matchy matches and that's that's what makes it all easy. Um, so there you can see why I pulled the color Misty Moonlight. Night of Navy would have been really pretty with this or maybe Boho Blue. But um, Misty, I just, it was just really, this, sometimes don't you love it? Like when you sit down to make a card and it just comes together so easily. Um, and that's what this card was this afternoon. Misty Moonlight, this piece is the little card. It's three by eight and I already scored it at four inches. And again, um, you want to give it good creases because you want this, it eventually will relax and lay down flat, but giving it with the bone folder a nice strong crease just helps it. All right, there's that. I'm going to take the stamp and seal and to center this, you're just going to, or to get it to lay right, the easiest thing to do is you're going to take this piece and center it within that panel and it turns out perfectly. Ta-da! Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my piece of two and a half by two and a half and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to bring in my Memento ink pad And I'm going to stamp this bouquet of flowers. Oh, sorry for the loud. <laughs> oh, I need to re-ink my memento. All right. Oh, that looks good. All right. I don't know if I'm going to color all of this for you because... I have one sample already made here, but I am going to show you a little bit of the coloring. So the colors, here's the colors that I used. So I've got um, all the blues. This is light azure afternoon. Then I used dark balmy blue, light balmy blue. I used, uh, I think I used dark misty moonlight for the center of this big flower right here and then I used boho blue dark and light and there's for <laughs> there's nothing better than like a new set of these blends or markers um, it just I, I don't know it's like the new toys you know it's I just love having that fine crisp point on that brush tip. I know it's the little things. And then I used for the greens, I used light soft sea foam and dark soft sea foam. And then light old olive and dark old olive. So all the blues and not all the blues. A lot of the blues and then some greens. I was going to pull in Mossy Meadow, but there I just thought, no, you got to stop. But I just want to show you real quick, like some of the things that I did. So I think I love the way this looks is because I kept it simple, the greens and the blues. Um, I didn't have to make any hard decisions. This is, this is, I don't know, this is something that I could do for a lot of afternoons, the coloring thing. I know some of you say that you don't like it, but if you don't have blends, girls, ah, this just makes coloring so easy. So, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I'm going to take, let's see, I'm just going to show you real quick. So this is just a little bit of just coloring. I'm doing all the same leaves or kind of the same leaves in that light, sea foam, light soft sea foam. And then I'm going to add a little bit like down here in the corner of the leaves. And it's bit, like you barely can see it, but that is. And then for the um, old olive. Let's see. Oh, I did. Oh, shoot. That one I did old olive on this. Let's make this one old olive. Can, I, can you tell I can't talk? And then I just go in and add like a little bit 
a little bit. It adds dimension to it. Um, and then if I want, I can go back in. So that's kind of even though the image is small girls, like to go in and add dimension and, and um, layers to it, that's the fun of the blend. You can't do that with our Stampin' Write markers. So with this big flower, I think I went in, I used to always do light first. Now I kind of go back and forth. I always thought you needed to add like light and then dark and then light again but now I don't know we'll see me do it different ways but it's just like coloring with crayons girls only a lot more fun and then the idea behind like the blends because they're they're meant to blend so I'm not crazy about like I want those colors to blend together so you barely see like the brush 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 strokes so see, to some people, they're like, I don't have patience for that. That's okay. Now, I could, And I could easily do this just with coloring, you know, one layer. But it's when you go in and add, like, the, the different tones, that I think that's the beauty of the blends. Let me show you with the, um, with the flowers. Oops, wrong one. do this big one. So for the center of it, I use dark misty moonlight. That was the only time I used the misty moonlight. And then I used balmy blue. Yeah, it definitely is relaxing. I think so too. So yeah, you'll see me you'll see me do it both ways. And the fun thing is like it just I don't know. I think it just looks, hmm, I don't want to say, it looks, it looks a lot, I love Stampin' Write markers. There's a lot of things you can do with Stampin' Write markers that you can't do with blends, but I love the, what this, what this turns into. It just really makes me feel like I'm a little artistic. And I'm not like Jill. Jill's an artist. She knows how I cut a highlight, and I cannot do that. But I need to take lessons from Jill. But she could teach us all a thing or two. So there's that. And then with these little bitty mark or these little bitty mark, these little bitty flowers. All I did was took boho. Let's see. And with the dark boho, I did, I didn't even do like any blending. I just did like the tips of these flowers. See, it's pretty quick. It's probably like watching paint dry for all of you. But. And then I did the light up at the top of it. So, oh, nope, that's Azure. That's okay too. It just, I don't know. All the blues made it fun. I was gonna try to pull in like different colors, like me make, you know, yellows and pinks, but then I don't know. I had this idea just to use all blues. Oh look girls, I'm almost done. I should I might as well. This one I think I let's see. This one I did as or. And then a little bit of balmy. How many of you love to do this? Or, <laughs> or should I ask, how many of you just, I know I have girls that come to my class. And guys, they're probably like, Kim, not another coloring card. But I love to do it. Okay, and then I just missed the, let's see. Let's make, and then we'll just go ahead and make this one. See, so if you wanted, you could just do it straight, you know, straight markers, no, no light and dark. It would go really quick. So this is how, there's a die, there's a die set that I used to cut this out. 
lines up perfectly. I already did that for us. So there's my cutout one. Pretty similar. I'm going to set this to the side. And I'm going to bring in our basic white two and three fourths by three and three fourths. Get these. Oh no, I do need some. Let's see. I do need my other color because we're going to stamp a teapot with memento. And I think you've probably heard me say, but do you see on my glass mat, which now is available to our, our friends and our customers, um, I've got a grid so I can see, you know, that my stamp is straight. I'm using that grid and my cardstock is straight. And then I'm going to bring in Sending Love. That is in, I didn't show you the stamp sets. So Sending Love is in the Country Flowers. It's right here. And then on the inside, the sweet little happy birthday, but there's Hello Friend, Hope You Have the Best Day Ever. Um, on this one, Best Friend Ever with Heartfelt Sympathy. Um, so lucky to know you. And then this flower market can go like, I think on this can right here. So, and fun flowers. So I'm gonna bring in Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna stamp it right down here. Got it a little high, but that's okay. And I'm going to bring back in. I decided I didn't like the way, like when I first had it, that the little tea kettle was like kind of floating. So then I made this like little area for it to sit on. I just used soft sea, sea foam. So we're going to bring in, I think in this one, dark soft sea foam. And very carefully going to do like a light line so it's I'm so it's grounded I learned that a long time ago so it's grounded so it doesn't look like it's floating all right and then the next thing we're going to do is the next two um, blends are the dark gray granite and the light gray granite. Let's do. So I'm going to take, and if you're just learning like how to use the markers, follow um, the details like of the stamp right there. Give it a here. And I'm going to trace like along the outside. And I'm going to pull a little bit of that color in for the dark. You'll see it doesn't look right right now, but wait till the magic happens. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top and the bottom. Let's see. And I think the tip of the tea kettle, maybe a little in here. All right. And now I'm going to show you the magic. So this one is a little easier to see because um, it's a, you know, a little bit larger image, but there you can see like the brush strokes. I want those to kind of disappear. One thing, this is another thing if you're brand new to using the blends or alcohol markers, um, you, you can't, you've got to do like, little image little part little bits at a time like if this was the flowers and the tea kettle and I wanted this blending to um, work I couldn't do all of it like that you you want to do just little pieces little spots at a time all right well let, let's do the handle here's where I mean where that new like the brand new 
the brand new, the lovely pointy tip. <laughs> it just makes me happy. All right. I'm pretty happy with the way that looks, but if I wanted to come in and add a little bit more, I can pull in, I can go back over it. And that's that's another thing, fun thing about the alcohol markers. Let's say I want this a little deeper. And then I'm going to go back over one more time. And it is, Denise, it is kind of, it is all about practicing, but really, I don't know. They're just so fun to work with. I think anybody can do it. There. Oh, I'm very happy. All right. I'm going to take the flower. Um, yeah, it does look like a shadow. The, um, had to put dimensionals on. Oop. And I'm going to center this right here. And then I want to tell you something funny. Usually I am all about like the embellishments, you know. And I looked at this and I was like, I am just really... I almost put some pearls on it and then I decided to just let it go. I was pretty, ha and then I thought, oh, we've got our brush brass butterflies. Um, I could use that, but I just was really pleased with the way it looked. I thought, nope, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go just the way it is. So the last piece is the inside and oh, back with the misty moonlight. This is a good one to have. Happy, you can never have enough happy birthday stamps. And then I did this little um, stamp is from, because I thought Valerie, my friend's there, and I, she always says decorate the inside. So this little flower matches the one that's from Country Flowers. So I thought this would look really sweet on the inside and also it would look really sweet on an envelope too. So let's see how I had it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you girls. And guys. All right. We're just going to do a little, let's see, I can't remember what I did. Let's see, oh, I used Azure. And then I put a little bit of, oh, Joyce, hi. Thank you. A little bit of soft sea foam, just to color that right there. And then balmy blue. See, so watch girls. I, this is just like me really fast coloring. I'm not worrying about like shading or pretending to shade or pretending to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going in. That's just your basic coloring and having fun. And that's, that's what's that's what's important. All right, here we go. Last little bit. Light boho on the top. Dark boho on the bottom. And then a little bit of old olive. And let's see, here we go. On this cute little, so diagonal fun fold card. I hope you 
see how easy it is to make and you attempt to make one yourself. Oops, get that down there. There you go. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Let me flip this around. If you have any questions about the diagonal fun fold or about the glass mat or bonus days, take advantage of it, girl. Stock up. Um, there's nothing better than, you know, spending a little bit of money and then you get the $5, it, and there's no limit, $5 coupon to redeem in the month of August. Um, if you have any questions about that, please um, let me know and I will be happy to answer all your questions. You all have a wonderful week. God's blessings to all of you. Bye-bye.